It was with uh, real interest when they announced that they were going to be making a prequel Willy Wonka movie. Now, I got really excited when I heard that Timothy Chalamet was going to be starring in it. I, I think he's the best up-and-coming actor. He's not even up-and-coming anymore. I think he's one of the best actors. He has the potential to maybe be the best actor in the world. I got real excited, though, when I found out the director of Paddington and Paddington 2, Paul King, was going to be doing it. And then we started to see some previews and some trailers. So yesterday, I finally had a chance, me, Ray, and Ann, finally had a chance to go and watch Wonka. And I'll tell you what, it's an absolute delight. It's a really charming little film. Now, now let me say right off the top here, I don't think it's as good as his Paddington movies, as Paul's Paul King's Paddington movies. But this is a movie that delivers something that a lot of movies don't do anymore. I don't even try to do. Just deliver joy. And the whole time I'm sitting in this theater watching this movie from the first scene of Willie coming into town on a, on a boat and entering the town for the first time to right to the end of the film, it was just a lot of joy. A uh, grin on my face, a smile in my heart, and it just had that. The songs were catchy, not super catchy. I don't think any of the songs in this movie are going to be nominated for an Academy Award or anything. But the songs were cheerful and pleasant and great. I love the fact that Paul King seems to have a rule now that every one of his movies has to have, have at least one member of the cast of Downton Abbey in it. <laughs> I love that he loves working with Hugh Grant. I love that he loves working with, oh, why am I forgetting her name from uh, Shape of Water? Oh, oh, oh crap. And she was Paddington's mom. Yeah. Well, now she's Wonka's Sally mom. Sally Hawkins? Yeah, yes, Sally thank Hawkins, you, Sally Hawkins. Yeah. I love that he likes working with her. <laughs> I mean, it was just, oh, and Keegan-Michael Key was absolutely hilarious in this movie. I, I was happy to see him in it. I didn't know if he was a good fit for something like a Wonka. He's fantastic in this. But I got to, got to talk about Hugh Grant. Um, my one kind of nitpick with this film is that it should have had more of Hugh Grant's Oompa Loompa. He's not in a lot of the movie. I don't even think he enters the movie till at least well past the halfway part of the film. But he is absolutely wonderful. You just, again, smile in your heart every second he's on screen. And Timothy Chalamet, I mean, he brought it. I have not seen Timothy Chalamet in a role like this. Usually he's cannibalizing or you know, struggling survive in a desert world or <laughs> the drug addicted son of Steve Carell or something like really, really heavy stuff. And I've been wondering how he would be able to do in something that's supposed to be light and, and exude happiness and joy. And he did it. He absolutely did it. Um, is this a film that should be nominated for best picture? No, no, I don't, I don't think it's that good, but I had an absolutely delightful time watching Wonka. Really, really fun. And uh, I, I highly, highly, I think, and last I checked, I think it had in the mid 80s. It was 84%. 84% was yep. last you saw. I mean, and yeah, I, I think that's a perfectly good score for this. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Better Help. You know, guys, it's Christmas time, and I don't know about your family, but mine always used to like giving a lot of gifts. And whether you like giving big elaborate gifts or small personal gifts, it's important not to forget to also give to yourself during this season. Because the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments or treating yourself to a day of complete rest. Remember to give yourself some love this holiday season too. And you know, I think we need to talk about this more. You know, we always encourage each other when we're talking about improving our physical health, you know, going to the gym and working out. We talk about it with each other. We encourage each other. Well, I believe it's time we start doing that when it comes to our mental health. Make sure we're taking care of ourselves by looking at our mental health too. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia. Anyway, Ray, you were there. What did you think of it? Well, the audience score was 88%. Uh, it's 88 percent you know what it may not be best picture for any of us but there was a little girl that was in there that was sitting behind us oh, that, that was her best picture because she was 
Aww. gushing about it afterwards. Like she stayed as long as we did. We stayed until all the credits because we just wanted to hear the song. My only gripe with this film is if you remember in Charlie and Chocolate Factory, when he first gets that first piece of chocolate and he stuffs his face from that moment on, I felt like eating can a chocolate bar, right? There wasn't any moments in this film that showcased the candy enough where I was like, I want some chocolate. I really wanted like a couple of those moments where like, you know, it's just, it's cause I'm fat, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, the, but it, I was happy throughout the whole film. There was a little emotional part at the end. I, I just had a good time. I'm not really a fan of musicals, but this one, the, 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 um, the music was short, like the little parts it, it wasn't it didn't go throughout the whole movie so yeah this is just a joyful time yeah there, there's an emotional part near the end and i remember thinking to myself i'm going to turn my head right now and look at ann and i know she's going to be crying <laughs> and sure enough i turned and looked at ann and while she wasn't like gushing you just see tears streaming down her yeah. face as she's looking at the screen um yeah i guys i don't know what to tell you it is a charming delightful not best picture of the year kind of material but a charming, delightful film, truly in the spirit of the Paddington movies. I think, and you know what? I was telling the guys before the, the show started today, it even makes me look at the original movie a little bit differently. Because you guys have seen in the trailers, one of the key characters in this movie is this young black girl. Her name's her name in the movie is Noodle. And she's a she's an important part of the movie. And she's the one in the trailers that says, a uh, double, huh? Anyway, so I actually kind of now look, and I won't explain why. You guys tell me what you think once you see the movie. When I now think about the original film, I realize, you know what? Willie in the original Chocolate Factory movie, Willie was actually trying to find the next Noodle. He was trying to find a child who was like Noodle. That he and couldn't murder? What's that? That, would, that would motivate him to murder. No, 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 no. That's, that's my big takeaway from Gene Wilder is like, so which of these kids won't get murdered? <laughs> yeah, he was a little bit of a homicidal. They survived. They survived they, that. They always get him out. They all lived. He yeah, talks about how they all candy. survived. Come on. Yeah, they all but lived. I mean, it's, it's a so, charm. That's what pedophiles do, right? They got free candy. It was. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they get kids into vans. Ray is walking around. Free candy, kitties. <laughs> No, I'm the no. one who wa he's looking for yeah, the candy. Really I'll, I'll get in any van. I'll get in any van that has chocolate in it. He's precious cargo who's going to get taken. I'll get in any van. I was like, what? Chocolate? All right. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today, so it'll be there when you need it.